All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Batty Overwatch League. Thank you for your patience as we had to uh, reset some welcome. stuff with the stream delay between maps. We are heading into our second map tonight. I'm AJS Zero, and unfortunately, I've been abandoned by my co-caster, but joined by another, my uh, partner in crime this season, ladies and gentlemen, Rakuto, in the booth with me as we head on to Blizzard World. Rakuto, you missed a hell of a map, but fortunately, there's a lot of Overwatch left to be played in this first of four. Well, looking at the stats and everything, it sounds like the, the co-caster that was before me has kind of just, like, destroyed any fucking statistics that I have. So, I mean, maybe we should just bring him back. <laughs> Ready for battle. But, yes, uh, I'm definitely excited to see. It's unfortunate that I missed the first map, and I am very excited to see uh, this one, because Blizzard World is actually a map I like. I, I don't know if people agree with yeah, right. I love Blizzard World. I think it's great. It has a lot of charm and character to it. Yeah, so definitely have to see how this goes. I feel like this is going to be a map that um, I, I actually have a feeling that uh, Brain Brain and Ethos are probably going to do a good number on this, if not win it. I feel like they're they're more prone to do well with this one. Yeah, we will see. They're uh, they're feeling the pressure right now as they are down 2-0 on score in the series. But remember, these yeah. teams. Very close together. I mean, in a 15-map regular season, these teams finished a single map apart. It was a 2-1 uh, win for Heron's Harem way back in the first week of the season when they played. So here we go. Heron's Harem sticking with this Ryan Zarya cop again. Wacky is still on the DPS. By the way, that is a top 500 Torbjorn you are seeing on your screen. On the uh, other side, we've got some dive coming through as they are diving straight up and not that long. They're taking their time here, kind of teasing out their entry. Yeah, they're thinking about and picking where the how they want to enter, and that's pretty important. Or Zappa's gonna go down. Yeah, ooh, Zappa goes in, goes down. That's uh, not the way they'd want to start that fight. Oh, you know. Ed. Um, and now, yeah, the ball getting kind of beat around there. Oh, wait, no, just getting used to the ball. He doesn't take damage from anything. That, that, that could have been pretty bad, but it's a good thing it didn't. It's still there. Just are ready for the next fight. Yeah, and Zappa is now here, but uh, I think Slice Bread maybe just a little out of sync with his team there. Just barely beat the ball, and now Brian's going to go in and join him in hell. That's two men dead for Big Brain Ethos, and they are backing out. Yeah, they really got to think how they want to dive, because right now it's poor. Very poor. Yeah, they look just a little out of sync there. It, it was like... The ball went in, like, just a couple of seconds before D.Va would have been able to j get Jets up to go in with him. And now we do all have uh, some swaps coming through. Brian's on the jump rat. Dano has swapped over to the Sombra um, a while ago by this ult charge. I just haven't caught it. Uh, Slice Bird's now on the Sigma. Oh, yeah, sorry. We got no more dive. We got Zap on the Rhine. And here we go. We got a Nano on the Rhine coming through. What will he find? He's fire strike and he's chucking around, but he's got a lot of low health in the back line, and Reinhardt's gonna go down. Big molten load coming out of Wacky Tabacchi as this team is up. Well, actually, this is kind of a back and forth fight. Um, Jumanfo is solo killing right now for his the harem, but it looks like they will hold on to this one as yeah, they pick out Dano to kind of clean up this fight. They're looking to maybe get a little more, and yeah, Heron's gonna push forward, finds the mop up kills, jump out the last to die. I mean, it's definitely started off pretty strong for uh, for Big Brain New Thoughts because they actually pushing in. They were actually doing things kind of like kind of nicely and right, just going in. And but uh, you know, Heron's Harem had a lot of good cues, and that's unfortunate. Yeah, that was really the defining part of that fight was just the old advantage coming out of the ball. The swaps, well, there we go. Finally, Big Brain New Thoughts gonna find their play. They pick out Cthulhu and you before he's able to get an ult off. Now, what can they follow up with? They have to be careful. They did take some damage on this entry. Heron's Harem, they're trying to give up some ground here to give up a little time and. Maybe to give up this point entirely. I'm not sure. Heron is above the point. Yeah, no, part time she's going to move forward. They did take out Brian. It's a 5v5 on this point. Here we go. Graviton Surge coming out. It's a slam going down. Um, Human Pete's going to pop the Transcendence. But, oh, Cthulhu, you still find Server through it. And that looked like maybe a fat shat, but oh my god, part time Jesus with his body stops Zappa from following up. And Heron's hero through all the alts is going to hold on to this point. Yeah, it's pretty unfortunate. They, they were looking a little strong there. They were trying to put a little bit of aggression, but they didn't want to go off the point. They're referring to Big Brain, and, you know, Herons just wait for their time, they wait for a big mistake. The mistake happened, and then they just push on it. But this next fight, let's see if uh, Big Brain Thousand is going to take this first point. Last fight. It's going to start off with Cthulhu going in. I mean, this little aggression seems to stay a little far, but... They're just waiting at this point. 
Yeah, sorry. Uh, Molten alone coming out here, but the Sigma is going to toss the tanks up into the air as Sigma looking to keep people away from that low. Cthulhu and you going down first, another fight in row. Now the EMP did come out, only hit the tank line, and they're having trouble following up on that. Gluba got a sound barrier to keep his team up through the edge. Now Brian, his team is down, but he has a chance for something big with this tire. Can he find it? It's just the Reinhardt. Remember this uh, big brain ethos. They are at two ticks already, but they're kind of falling apart here as um, Dano really deep not finding anything. The tanks are now falling apart and the Graviton Surge is going to come just to mop things up. And Heron Sam going to hold the first point. 80.2% given over though. Yeah, it's pretty unfortunate. If we uh, don't want to see see that happen, uh, losing the first point. But uh, you know what? If it happens. They just got to shake off their boots and they got to get ready for the defense and they can do it. Yeah, uh, this is a... Uh... Kind of a big round for big rainy thoughts, and that's how they would have liked offense to go. Yeah, I mean, Heron was was there. Heron Heron was pretty smart about pulling back, waiting, and just getting ready. Like it's okay to lose some time on the point as long as they don't get the point, right? So they just took their time, waited for someone to come back, waited for a pick, waited for a mistake, went in, took care of it, and that's all I needed. Yeah, and that has uh, been working great for the Heron. And now it's uh, they have the chance to go up. All they have to do is take the first point on Blizzard World, and they will have a 3-0 lead in the series. And nothing's for sure for certain at that point, but you have to think 3-0 is going to be pretty insurmountable. I mean, it's a number. <laughs> it's a strong number. But, you know... They still have a chance to win. All, they have a, a, a clean sweep coming back even if they lose this map. You know, Big Brain, they can, yeah, they let's, can do it. Yeah, let's just... Well, for now, we're going to root just for a win on defense here to maybe keep this a little more manageable. So, Brian on this Torbjorn, Dano on the Ash. Meanwhile, uh, mostly more of the same. Wacky Tabaki on the Widowmaker, the big uh, the shiny new pick for the Harem. As they are still running with this Ryan Zarya. So, Heron and Part-Time Jesus leading the way as Wacky looking for sight lines around the side. Cthulhu and you kind of poking in with his team. But part time Jesus is flank. going to go down. Yeah, can Wacky find anything from this flank, though? His team is creating a lot of pressure for him, but he is not finding the shots. It looks like Cuba Pete's going to zone him out. They're going to back up and regroup, get, get their numbers back. That is the scariest thing for a Zenyatta to come out, and like, as a Zenyatta, I would be terrified <laughs> to do that. Yeah, I wouldn't have the balls to take that duel. But shout out for Cuba Pete. Balls are as big as his power. Oh. I mean, we kind of know it's going to happen. Caster, curse at its finest. Wacky has given his team man advantage. Now they are going to pressure in. They've taken out the Torbjorn turret in this one man advantage for the Heron's Harem. They've taken out Cerber. That's the main healer down. This is going to be a very difficult fight now. And Zappa down as well. Heron's Harem looking like they want to steamroll through Blizzard World here as they mop up Big Brain E thoughts. And Heron's Harem keeps the ball rolling. They take Blizzard World, and they take a 3-0 lead in this series. Yeah, Cthulhu actually played that a little bit smart. He kind of used uh, the Hay ramp to get onto the other side and just get his abilities back up, and then he kind of went in, got a free kill. And that was it. Everyone hit W. Surrender to my will. Looking like this uh, Moira ult, as most Moiras use when they get play of the game. It's, uh, it is a play of the game machine. We take that. Look at that, Jumanfo. 53% healing done. That's, uh, that's a lot. For those of you that don't play support, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you ever play Brig, Brig then you kind of just, you know, get 70-80% kill participation, because apparently that always happens with... But, yeah, no, um... Man, this next map, I wanna, I wanna see some big brains, you know, killing people. I always root for the underdog. It's just kind of what I do, but I do. I do want to see them kick ass in this next one. I would like to see them come back as well. It would be a shame to be swept, but um, if as somebody who has been around the middle of the pack in a lot of these team games, um, oh, we do have a substitute coming out, so maybe this is it. BSRK, the hero. Uh, could potentially come through and save the season for Big Brain Ethos as uh, they're putting a lot of pressure on his shoulders. You know, there used to be a League of Legends team that did this. Uh, they were called SK Telecom T1, 
And sometimes they would sub out the best player in the world until their team went down in a series and then bring Faker in to kind of reverse the sweep. So BSRK, we're going to find out how much you have in common with uh, potentially the greatest esports player of all time. I'm assuming it's up there, like straight up. Well, if they if they pull this match back, it definitely will be. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be kind of fucking nuts. <laughs> I'd lose my shit. <laughs> yes, yeah, same. I uh, I've been around some crazy comebacks in baddie leagues. Um, a reverse, a, a pure reverse in a first to four would be among the nuttiest. He just like picks like widow or something and just kills everyone instantly. It's like what? Been... What? 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 He's been training uh, like off stream all season long just for this moment. Yeah, like him himself is like all buffed up and muscular and just ready to fuck anyone. All right, so heading over to to CP and it's going to be Volskaya Industries coming through. It's our third map of the night. This is match point for Heron's Harem. I, I feel like. I don't know. I feel like they're going to do dive. Referring to... Uh, uh, are they on attack? Yeah, they're on attack. Uh, so, I feel like Big Brain's going to do some dive. I, I see a Winston coming in. Um, if not, it'd probably be Arissa Sigma, but I feel like it's going to be Winston Diva. I yeah, I'm kind of thinking the same. It works on Volskaya at mm -hmm. first point. They've been playing a lot of it tonight, but uh, well, the initial hover is going to stay otherwise. So I'm maybe, very wrong. Yeah. They're going to go for shields and some nice long-range sustained DPS with the Hanzo Ash coming through. Meanwhile, on the defense, um, you don't need to play your second cop if the first cop works all night. Heron on that Zarya is kind of been the core of everything they run with uh, the healing coming out of Jew and Gluba. Wacky sticking on that Widowmaker we saw on Blizzard World, which should be pretty effective here to defend the first point. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think, like, the best thing they can do right now for a big brain is that right now with what they have, they don't have, like, a McCree or anything for stun or whatever on, on Doomfist. They know they're going to run Doomfist. So they're just going to have to use Pull and Rock to deal with it. They just got to scout him, know where he is, do it, kill him, go, and that's But we'll see. Or they could just click his head, forehead. That's not going to happen. No. Oh, God! Damn, though, there is so much damage that came out the second Big Brain Ethos peeked to that corner. They did not play around their shields well, and they have already lost two members. I mean, the fucking Doomfish just sitting in the back, top of statue. Yeah, but they do get a stagger, though. Cthulhu trades with Dano, which means Dano will have the spawn advantage in a moment. This could be a window here for Big Brain Ethos if they don't get anyone picked in the interim. Because they're trying to put some pressure on Heron. Oh, they get here in low, but do not get the kill. Keep an eye, this Doomfist is um, on his way back now, but Big Brain Ethos there pushing their way forward, scouting out to see the Doomfist sentry. They're playing this guy slow, but Cthulhu and you has been able to rejoin his team. We now have a true 6v6 here. Is Heron kind of looping around the point? Cthulhu and you going in, trying to find someone, and BSRK going to go down to that combined pressure. Now Wacky Dubaki yeah. has popped sights for his team. Cuba That's going to be a clean up. As well. Yeah, yep. this looks pretty free for the harem, as they are looking to move on to the semi-final. I mean, they have the range if they, as long as deal with a with a gym. Yeah, and like, if you know, Slice by though, he's committing to this. The Sigma song coming through. I uh, I did not see what he saw there, and it's gonna cost Zappa his life in the confusion. Yeah. This Dude, is a. Uh... But I mean, if they need a way for their tanks, up oh, here's the Winston's already coming out. They're going for the dive. Oh, big. Yeah, Dano takes Wacky to back you up before this fight can start. So now this is a, a solid man advantage. Cthulhu and you is still coming back from spawn as well. So this is four versus six. As uh, there was a hammer down, but now Bob coming out of Dano out of the back line. Dano dies, but Bob is there to avenge his master. As Bob is doing work, Dano may have just pulled a dead play of the game off here. As it is just Aaron alive above this point. I don't think he's going to be able to rejoin his team at all. So he's going to just go on to this point. But for the first time in a while, we have a point captured by Big Brain Ethos. And they are keeping their playoff hopes alive. No, I mean, like I said, they, they deal with the easy picks or the picks that they can get. And then they hit W and that's all they need. To, that's, uh, that's what he has. Get the picks, hit the W. 
And now this could be a decent chance here for Big Brain Ethos. They've still got Hanzo ult, they've still got Transcendence available. On the other side, it's uh, Zarya ultimate and a Doomfist ultimate is Cthulhu and you're looking for this early pick, but he doesn't quite finish off Zappa. Parentam playing nice and far forward though. Cthulhu and you don't get picked, there's no Doomfist ult, and now this is gonna be the chance. Go, go, go buttons. Press those W keys, Big Brain Ethos, take your lead. Zappa, hears me out. Heading on to this point, goes a little deep, but there's a tank trade on the point. Now, Sigma tossing everyone up into the air. But here we go, Graviton Surge gonna be transcended, but oh no, through it! Wacky Tabaki with the headshot. And with the man advantage, Big Brain Ethos will find nothing. Yeah, that's pretty unfortunate. Um, it's not like, as a Winston with these two supports, it's not like you can get protected easily. I mean, because it's really easy for, for uh, Baptiste to kind of miss those shots if not being careful, especially when flying up in the air. You have to wait to him on the ground, and then you have to have a good line of sight and not hit anything. Um, and, you know, when he dives back there, like, he cheated off the Widow, but everyone else is just like, let's kill him, and that was it. No one can else do anything about it. Yeah, we see a uh, few more. So, so BSRK over to the three now. As we still kind of have these uh, opposing tank styles here with the Winston. Oh, Cuban P gets picked out early. And Big Breeding Thoughts, they're kind of already committed. So Zappa, he wants to burn this monkey ultimate. He's jiving in early, but he does not press the Q. Looks like some hard miscommunication. Heron does get picked, but it shouldn't really account for much. Yeah, right now they've just got to stay at the grounds a little bit, try not to get picked, watch for the Widow, get the whole team together, get ready to go in and go. But... We'll see. Doomfist is playing a little bit on the aggressive side, getting ready to pick off anyone who's up there. But you need to deal with both McCree and... Yeah, that's going to be a clean sweep with the rock hitting on the uh, Doomfist. Another pick going off. Fuck yeah. Heron and Cthulhu. This could be a chance, and now there is a big mad monkey in the back line. Zappa trying to cause some disruption while his team has this man advantage. This is DPS looking for the man advantage. Dano does find some kills here as Bob is out again. And finally, Big Brain Ethos, the ults are coming together. Bob, the MVP of this match, his Big Brain Ethos is now controlling this point. Going to try to take both points out of Sky Industry. Can they hold Heron's harem off? Cthulhu and you touches very near the end here. Is that by some time for the rest of his team to get on? Meteor Strike going off is a... Now that is two members of Big Brain Ethos down, this could be a chance for Heron's Harem to hold this point. They're finding the kills and they're not giving up anything in, in trade. And Heron's Harem, 96.9% .9 is going to hold on to this second point. Yeah, that was that was pretty clean. That was such a clutch shot. Uh, Cthulhu and you jumps up over the uh, the bridge to get onto the point and touch and by the seconds for his team to get on as his tanks were being body blocked effectively and he's that bought enough time he's actually camping up in the little corner and uh, Zap actually knew where he was went up there to shock him out and as he shot down then he kind of it was pretty clean for him to wait there it was really nice so good job on you yeah so two alts to two alts right now both these teams have a defensive available this could be uh, the last clean fight of the round, potentially, especially at the pace we're going, but Cthulhu and you, the first to be picked out. What is it with Doomfist and being picked? I will never know. As now Wacky Tabacky down as well. Salamaria comes out, but it's only going to hit four. As now everyone is pressing their cues. Everyone committing these ults in the middle. BSRK does go down inside the transcendence. So does Serberg. And now Heron may be equalizing this man advantage. Now it's his team with the spawn advantage. Hammers are being dropped. This, the supports from Heron's harem are mopping up these kills. In a fight that looked like it was going to be an advantage, BBET is going to go to the harem. And now there's only 15 seconds to play. That's probably going to be it. They can't get back. They switched to the Lucio way too late. Yeah, they do have a wrecking ball, so Slice Bread's going to try to just charge on him, but BSRK is already down, and the Slice Bread, he does not have teammates that close to him, but people will charge towards this point. Bob is coming out. Bob has been big before. Can Bob do it one more time? Because there's a lot of low health fights. Now, Slice Bread and Server both go down. I'm thinking this Bob will not be the hero he was in prior fights as Cthulhu and Wacky are mopping this one up. Wacky with a rip tire coming up to finish off Zappa. And now it is just BSRK's Tracer trying to make a miracle here and it will not happen. Heron's Harem, they managed to hold on point two. It's going to be a, quite a solid hold, especially on a 2CP map holding, you know, like even the first point. Yeah, that happens. Like holding the second point, that's pretty big, so... It's probably going to be a solid hold from them, and uh, 
We'll see. Uh, how they do an attack. We'll Assuming they'll probably stomp. I'm sorry, Big Brain, <laughs> but uh. Well, let's see what Big Brain. They still have. They still have a chance here to hold this one out. So we'll see if they can do it. But it's I... a chance. <laughs> you guys got it. That's a professional casting, right? <laughs> yeah, so uh, we'll definitely see if they can. I feel like... I don't know. I don't know. I, I... I... I don't know. I think they need double heals. Like, double main heals. I think if they have, like, an Ana and a, and a Baptiste, that'd probably be a little bit stronger. Um, the potential sleep, the nade, like... That's powerful enough, and with those like utilities, they can probably hit W hard enough for for sliced bread on the on the Zarya to do some fucking damage. But they're yeah. taking a lot of damage. I think that um, I'm assuming their thought process has been Heron has been on this Zarya nonstop, and they feel like they have to have a support alt to counteract the Graviton Surge. If we had seen more swapping around from Heron. Maybe they would consider the double main heals because I agree. I think they would love to play the double main heals right now, but I think they're just giving all the respect in the world to that Graviton Surge. So Cuban Pete is sticking with the Zenyatta. We've been seeing him on all night. So we'll see here. Not a whole lot new at this point. These, these teams have kind of shown us what they're about by now. Wacky on this Widowmaker still. Yeah, it's going to be, uh, you know, Wacky's to kind of as much pressure as he possibly can on the side. The main fight is going to be a different story. Yeah, it's a one for one on the points. But Aaron's here, I'm going to be forced out. Is Wacky still looking to see if he can find any last second shots here? And Wacky will just barely hold on to his life there. So everyone waits out spawns. I'm mostly just playing for the picks. And once again, the, the main fight's going to happen again, but Wacky's still going to be on that floor. Oh, and Doomfist! Oh, there we go. Dano traded for Wacky here, so we got a five versus five. Sam, Sam, try to make the run to play. Now Gluma goes down as well. This is looking good for Big Brain Ethos yet again. Second fight. Yeah, Cthulhu would use that. That is a nice pick, though. This is kind of a, you know, back and forth here. There was mana management. It didn't last very long. And Heron's Harem, they see the same thing as me, but they do lose part-time Jesus. They lose Cthulhu and you. And Big Brain Ethos, they should have turned this one around. Now Heron trying to get the hell out of there. This will heal you. Um, if I know Sir Bird, he's going to feel really bad about that window. But I understand why he did it. <laughs> yeah, it look, I mean, it definitely was feeling pretty panicky. I don't blame them. But now this, we are cre uh, creeping up on some pretty big ult advantage for Harris Hero. Yeah, with Wacky now be on the Hanzo, he's just getting ready to point out. I'm trying to Sonic Arrow, whatever the uh, fucking what's her name could be, Sombra. Fishing for answers and not finding it yet. But playing off yeah. the high ground and getting a free pick. That's the main healer down. Now that's Dano down as well. This is uh, a hammer came the other way. Now Transcendence is coming out of QP. They want to hold on to this point, but they're already down two. Graviton coming out of Harem. But oh, this actually in the 4v6 may have been good. Big Brain Ethos, they find three kills pretty quickly. And that's ultimate out of Cuban Pete. Probably just saved them the point. It was very nice. It was enough healing for Zappa to just swing his hammer, do some. And then the rest of their team kind of just go in, do some damage, and kill some people. You know, video games. Yeah, and now here we go. We've got the dragon coming through, and that's going to just straight up kill Dano in the center of this fight. But now Graviton Surge is going to be traded with a hammer down. Wacky finding kills here. As we see, well, Wacky going to lose his life in the process. And it's Cthulhu and you, though, he's kind of mopping this one up. This is an advantage in favor of Heron's here. Now it's Cthulhu and you is going to go big on the end of this fight. It is just Cerber alive. He's not getting out of this one. Heron's harem. About the same time as the last round, they take the first point. But you know what? That was a good hole. For how this match been going, that was a really good hole. Yeah, you, you kind of expect to give up the first point when you play 2CP. So now the question is, can they hold the second point? It's got to be careful about those random picks. That's, that's something they got to avoid as much as they can. Getting free picks is the fucking worst. So with Doomfist both on the back line, nope, he's running away. They scouted him before he even came in. Good job. Yeah, so Heron playing this one up a bit, uh, trying to create some pressure here as we see Wacky getting some nice damage up from top. And Slice Bread, though, going to find the first kill, and that's Luba. Now Wacky down as well. This looks like it will be a hold. Although I should know better than to assume somebody's won a fight because they've gotten two kills. <laughs> uh, 
And uh, sorry, Cthulhu, but with your team backing up and you using your ult, you should have just ran away too. I wonder if a character swap is coming out of him. Not that we've seen him on much else, but yeah, that seemed a little out of sync. Now, there are a lot of ults coming close, which makes the decision to use that media strike a little more odd. Um, five ults available here for BBET on the defense as we're approaching a few ults on the offense. Um, Kaluba defending through the right alts may decide whether Heron's Heron can win this next fight or not as the poke war continues. Yeah, Kaluba once again looking for a pick. But Somber's just there ready to just fuck with anything. Yeah, some low health bars around. Heron goes down early, has no Graviton, and now Zap gonna commit the slam and only took two ults out of Big Brain Ethos to hold this point on, but fortunately for Heron's Heron, they did not blow any ults of their own on this entry. Alright, I don't know if that's what it looked like, but it looked like Zappa's fucking hammered down hit Cthulhu, and the ragdoll just fucking flew as, as <laughs> possible. The, the kill feed didn't say that's what happened, but that's what it looked like, and I'm proud of that. That was- that's fucking awesome. But here we go, we do have, uh, fucking, yeah, uh, what's it called, the fucking dragon combo, Polly Mc- Polly McDragon face coming in. So we'll see how- how that's gonna be utilized. Yeah, this feels like the big one heading into this next fight is they're trying to keep this pressure on Zappa, but Heron once again the first one to go down, but Heron's Heron felt like they were stuck having to commit here. They do manage to get the ult out of Cuban Pete for the slam, and now they do get a pick out of Daniel's McCree here before he can dead eye, but part time she just goes down. This is looking good. Yeah. Heron's here, I'm going to run out of this one. Oh Great no. Holding on. Uh that fight, like Ebean was looking really good. But Cuban just threw. He used his ult. Yeah, that could be rough here, and that may be the ult that they needed. Now the dragon combo is available. I think we're gonna see Heron's Harem not really play slow anymore. Yep, though they're gonna just lead right in with the sound barrier. Oh, we got ults coming out. McCree up on the high ground. Everyone's DPS ults are being popped. Only trading one for one, but now a second kill in favor of Heron's Harem. They're up one. Meteor Strike coming through from Cthulhu. And you can he give his team a decisive advantage? He's gonna slam down. Slice spread. Whoa! Slice spread kills himself. Zarya, no! And that could be a deciding factor in this fight. As Heron's Harem is mopping this one up, but there are three members of everybody thought. Oh, and their entry is going to be a disaster. All three of them coming from different angles, all going to lose their lives immediately. And now, how much can this ball wreck? The answer is looking like not a lot. But you know, I take that back. He's actually bought some good time here. He has gotten some teammates out. Zap is on to this point, but still a massive man advantage in favor of Heron's Harem. And now Big Red Ethos, they do not have the luxury of waiting out all of their spawns together. They are staggering out here, trying to play for a miracle, trying to hold on in this season. But one after another, they run out, they die. And Heron's Harem is going to take the Batty Overwatch League quarterfinals 4-0. to zero. Man, that was looking so good. And then right at the end, ugh, you hate to see that. Yeah, but Heron's Harem, great job, guys. You guys played Played uh, pretty well. Dude, very nice, very clutch, clutchy picky picks. Yeah, even set up a beautiful, uh, good old fashioned Lucio M1 play of the game. That's nice. And so that is going to do it, folks. Um, first to four. Well, we've gotten our first to four. So Heron's Harem will advance, which means they will be playing against social distancing from the cart next week in the playoffs. So stay tuned. We'll see you next week. Good luck to you guys.